one, two, three, four, five, six, man. Here, fulcrum, pull them down, knees, right to the back of the head punch. Rear cross and hammer fist. Go through, hit here. Hands them up. Here, go through, and then I check there. Reverse the motion. Go down with the hammer fist. Go through the face. Sorry about that. <laughs> cross over, and then do the hook. I'm not going to talk for him anymore. I'm going to give you the full microphone and the floor. It's all yours, Mr. Harrow. Thank you, sir. It's good to see everybody. First off, you know, I want to say thank you to Professor Williams and Mrs. Williams for all the, you know, and Mr. Perez at the Fresno School for all the hard work and dedication they've put on to put on this event and to organize everything. And also want to thank all the uh, people that put on the seminars. I got a lot of great information. It, it was very informative. Um, got a lot of different ideas that I want to take with my Kempo from all of them. I come from an IT background. And I was one of those kids that liked to, you know, take the computers apart or like when I would break, like a, as a kid, I remember breaking my toys or whatever. And then if I couldn't, I would try to figure out how to put them together or maybe try to glue them together or figure out a way to fix things. So that's kind of the approach that I take with Temple. You know, with COVID, um, it's radically changed like my teaching style. I, you know, I have to look for better and more efficient ways of communicating, making these movements better. Um, and imagine, you know, having to teach five-year-olds, you know, the complexities of Kempo. And that's kind of the, the topic of my of discussion today is, you know, simplifying the complexities of Kempo. Look at that other arm. You got the guy's head and you're bringing him into this action right here. So you, it's like, you know, that hockey fight, bring him in. He's bent forward. I want to just drive and drop, shoot that hand, palm into that motion. Think of ripping and returning on the way back a little bit. Just kind of play around with that. Go in, think of pulling pulling the person into that strike. So you go, bam, right into that. Your elbow and rolling that elbow and anchoring that elbow. And you know, if, you, if you had a bag in front of you or holding a bag with your hand, you could put it here in this perfect position. Then what I want you to think of anchoring and rolling that elbow and then just rolling and turning that, bam, turning that whole arm. Pretty powerful. So imagine if you had somebody's head right here in this position, you're going to roll that elbow and turn that whole body into that motion. Very devastating. I, I really miss all about COVID is I missed that one-on-one -on -one interaction about pounding and working this stuff on a partner. But if you have a bag or whatever you have, tools at your disposal, you can work on that rotate, that rotation, that roll, bam, right into that hold, put that whole body mass behind that strike. All of a sudden you start looking at all those little basics and pieces and it's like, man, I could really cause some damage. Sometimes, you know, you go through the flow that we we miss out on you know the, the power that we can generate for each strike you want to put the whole back of mass the whole body mass behind each movement be willing to experiment i love to experiment and you know tinker around these techniques take a little bits and pieces and see where i can put them out now that's where you start making the art your your own is taking the little sections of techniques and finding those little spots where you can start applying this stuff turn back and just think of torquing that the palm out and then going in. And then from right here, if you can shoot that hand sword out as you're going to strike with that, bring the hand up underneath the other arm, strike to the side of the neck and wham. Good way of working this is, you know, think of grabbing a rope or whatever, or a strap or, you know, tying yourself down and using your opponent to pull yourself into the movement. And if you're going to do an elbow strike or whatever, wham, you can use the rear hand. To if you think about that. using a ball and you're palming the ball, you're using your fingertip strength. So it's like, you know, I got this guy's face and wham right into that motion pretty devastated when you're pulling in and just wham the movement you go from right here you're handing it off to this movement and you can come in and use the opposite hand and opposite foot 